Bonjour, euh, ici c'est Washington. Euh, si quelqu'un veut apprendre à faire les cheveux, nous sommes, nous sommes là. Vous êtes la bienvenue. <rire> Everyone. So we're here today with Joyce of Wash and Trim in Accra. Hi Joyce. Hi Nana. <laughs> so we're here, I'm getting my nails done and we're going to talk about her beautiful and popular salon in Ghana. Joyce, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> Thank so you. So we've been talking prior to this, but um, just asking her some questions, you know, how she got started and stuff. When did you start um, Wash and Trim? Okay, so um, we started um, Wash and Trim officially on 10 February 2020. That's when we did the lunch and all of that padded and all okay. of that. Okay. <laughs> so we started um, officially on 10 February, on 10 February 2020. Okay. Do you okay. do hair yourself? Um, okay, so when, uh, when I started, I didn't know how to do anything. But in the time I've been able to pick up, at least I help them with the braiding and all of that now. So is it like just the business that made you, the business side of like beauty that made you okay, go into so, the um, Okay, so what made me go into the industry is when I, okay, so apart from this, I have an event company I run. So I noticed that anytime I want to go out with the girls, the Austrian, like the, for the Austrian girls, they don't look up to taste to my standards. So I was like, okay, so what can I do to make sure like my girls are comfortable and then they look up to, um, up to taste, so up to required. Right. So I was like, okay. Since I have a tent for beauty and hair and all of that, why don't I open a saloon? So like it will be inter, um, inter interconnected at least. Oh, it's going to serve the purpose of the event industry and then probably the event will serve the purpose of the of the beauty saloon. Wow. So it wasn't, I didn't start a business because I had like, I knew how to braid and all of that. Truth be told, I started because I wanted to serve a purpose for the girls I work with for the event industry. I mean, that is a good thing. <laughs> yes. Start so. a whole business just because you wanted to feed your other my business. other business yes and now this <laughs> business has blown up yes please okay yes yes it has, it has yes up. yes Yes, Your yes. is very popular in Ghana, I mean Accra now, yes, Western Gym is very popular. Yes, how yes. do you drive traffic to your salon? Okay, so how do I drive traffic? I think personally I have like a personal brand mm -hmm. and then I used my Twitter account a lot. I'm like, I'm a bit vocal on Twitter. So I talk to people almost all, if you go through like 10 of my tweets, you see me talking about like what, six of them yeah. are about Wash and Trim. Yes. So that, I think that is how personally I drive traffic. And then I talk to like my friends as well. So my friends are a bit supportive. Oh, um, you need to get your head and you can talk to Joyce. She sort you out perfectly. I see. Yeah. Another thing that you do do that, I don't know if you notice, is like you do a lot of modern like, styles like you are yeah, known for, for the not less brave exactly yes please which is a huge <laughs> business now every girl on the street now wants to get not less brave and you have like kind of cornered the market in a way how did that craze like how did this you know funny enough when we started we were known for goddess brace really yeah so people are almost like i'm like okay i'm tired of doing goddess brace can we do something else and then we did a few not less brace so i started to like market to that and then like um, it started to like reach out to people. People got to know that oh, wash and trim are actually really good with not less braids. So let me give them a try. And then now <laughs> people don't even do their goddess no. braids anymore. So they do more of the not less braids. The crux of this is that if you're going to start a salon, be known for something, right? Yeah. Be known for something that somebody else or the other people in the market are not doing, okay. and also to use digital marketing to drive tra traffic to your place. Perfect. have you been doing hair five years really yes so where did you come from before like you came to ghana i um, came from togo okay so you, did you learn the hair in togo or you learned it when you uh, came to ghana uh, no i learned it in togo okay so you're the one who's been doing the not less braids right yes that's you <laughs> you're the one that has made it blown up on social media doing but well, so where did that come from how long have you known about you know doing the not less braids Mm, I started doing not less braid like three years before we even knew what it was. Yes, and because so we started it in Togo before. 
Oh, I, I see. Yeah. So the Togolese have the goods on the hair. <laughs> yes, and please. And you're not exactly <laughs> cheap, cheap, are you? Uh, I think we are affordable. Yes. We okay. are affordable because um, um, I'm not trying to compare, but I think they're affordable because what we charge for our not let braids, um, when you go to other places, their prices are even higher. Mm -hmm. But then I think we still do it best than them. So yes, we are affordable. Yeah, look at my hair. <laughs> <laughs> we are affordable. So, I see. Um, yeah. so here's another thing that I, I we already talked about. That I wanted to ask okay. for people to know okay. um, about the beauty industry in Ghana. It's very okay. profitable, right? Uh, yeah, it's profitable. It's profitable. But then how much money did you start with? Okay, so um, when we started wash and trim, we started within um, 30 to 40k. 30 to 40,000 Ghana cities. Tested, yes, 30 to 40,000 GHC Ghana cities. <laughs> how? <laughs> Thirty to 40,000 Ghana cities? Yep, it could have been more though because um, when when we were trying to outsource for a place, we had someone trying to tell us to pay five years advance for rent. Five oh my, years rent advance? How do you expect me trying to start a business to pay five years advance? It doesn't make sense at all. So, <laughs> and then we had like three, three to four people like quoting five years advance. I'm like, how does it work? I'm, I'm trying to start something. How are you trying to like kill yes. me? And I haven't even started yet. So we kept our source until we got um, this place and then our landlord is cool. Okay. So, yeah, so. so now you're, you're happy here? Yeah, I'm actually very happy here, honestly. I don't think I would have preferred any other place. Mm. Just that like the place is small and then maybe there's another room you're trying to get from him. It's just behind us. Okay. So when he agrees, we'll just um, expand. expand. And yeah. you've only been in business for like 10 months and you're already thinking about expansion. Yes, please. That goes to tell you what the industry is. When I tell you that it's like one of the top businesses in Ghana, it's like, it's the truth because people really patronize. Everybody everywhere has a salon, but you've done it differently. You've just seen one thing and you've honed in on it and that's be become your market that's okay true. before this were you doing nails and hair and all of that yeah i was doing nails and hair but for some months i was i wasn't doing anything okay how that do you how house. do you like your job here though cool <laughs> <laughs> it's cool yeah that's what you have to say yes. about it being cool yeah okay so when people come in here you know and you're doing their nails and your hair and stuff like how, how what does that do for you I like doing nails mm -hmm. a lot and I also like doing hair. Mm -hmm. So if I'm doing it, I really do it well. Okay. Well, so what do, you, what do you have to say to all the other people out there who, you know, they want to learn how to do this stuff? What, what would you say to them? And they should come and learn it because it's really good if you have like your handwork, yeah. it really helps. At least if you are working and the money is not coming, you can do something else. Right, so it's always good to have a skill, yeah. right? I agree yeah. with you. Next thing, let's talk about the hair extensions and the actual braiding and things like that. Like, how much do the wigs cost? Because I've seen some of these girls wearing very... And then they're like 700, yeah. 800. <laughs> very expensive wigs. Okay, so it depends, um, uh, it depends on your budget. Because we have um, the Syntec, then we have like the fiber, and then we have like the human hair itself. So if I want a human hair, how um, much am I For human at? hair, you should look like 400, 700,000 cities. Thousand cities? <laughs> yes, okay, I see. for human hair. And I, you can even get it more than that though, depending on the length, the texture, the brand, and all of that. It's more expensive, but I'm just giving you a range. Okay. So at least for as low as 500 cities, we should get um, a human hair to wear. So now, not only are you doing braids, you're doing wigs. Wig crabs, and then. You're doing nails. Nails, pedicure, pedicure. manicure. You're if you want to dye stuff. your hair, we sell um, cosmetic products too as well. So in that one business that you started, <laughs> you have like certain. <laughs> Other businesses <laughs> are Oh, and then on. you've started a training program too as well. Look at that. <laughs> so you're now training other people, with, like mm, the stuff. How to braid, yes. 
So if you want to learn how to braid, um, if you want to like probably learn how to fix nails, you do all of that now. I see. Yes, please. How is Wash and Trim be treating you as an entrepreneur? Like, do you go to bed at <laughs> night and sleep soundly, <laughs> knowing that you have some business oh going on? God. Oh my God! Okay, what, so what has it been like for you? Honestly, um, I don't know if it's just me, but personally, I don't sleep. Mm. Oh, and of course, I'm like, okay. This week is coming to the shop. How many people can I come? Because at the end of the month, their salaries should be paid. Exactly. So my mind is always working. Rose is um, in the back, you know. She get paid regardless. Uh, yes. Whether, whether, whether people come in or not, I have to pay staff. Yeah. Like, honestly, it's tough because I need I need to, okay, can I do um, a discount? Um, Who should I talk to? Like, my mind is always working 24-7. I actually had a promotion <laughs> running where people tell you how much they, they want, want to pay. pay. Yes, yeah, so that was, that was what I started with. And then they broke, actually broke my bank, but then it was good because it created like, it gave me the audience that I needed. They blocked your bank? Um, as in, it broke me down a bit because the yes. prices were, I still wanted to do it because I, I was trying to like, um, create the audience. So when I did that, people got to know about I us. Understand. So you need to lose some to win some. So another tip for you would <laughs> be to create a ridiculous <laughs> discount system to kind of grab attention. Attention, yes. And it's worked for you. It worked. Honestly, I won't lie about it. It worked. And then I'm, I'm happy about it. I see. <laughs> find you on the internet okay so you can find us on twitter instagram and then facebook you just have to type in at wash and cream on all social media pages and then if you want to walk into our studio you just have to use your google map type in wash and trim or bring right here or if you want to um come here using the public transport just pick a car that is taking to upsa and then call us for further directions we are closer to upsa Everybody that's coming to Ghana, everybody that's in Ghana, if you're looking for somewhere to do your hair, there's only one place to come to, and that's Wash and Trim. Wash and Trim, experience the new feeling. Exactly. Yeah, the feeling is very powerful. <laughs> if you want to, you know, learn how to do hair, or you want to start your own salon, or whatever it is, you can ask Joyce about it, because she has first-hand knowledge in doing, you know, business and doing hair. She's successful at it, even though she's not saying it. Please. <laughs> She is, she's trying soon to expand and you'll she'll get the business going and everything, right? Yeah. Okay, Joyce. Well, thank you very much for talking thank to us today. Thank you so much. It's, it's been fun you. and then I, I appreciate you coming in. We appreciate you. Too. <laughs>